to my channel. Today I am creating this look right here. This is the look I uh, wore on Eid and I completely forgot to film this look but I've been getting requests since then that I need to create this look so I tried really hard although I've forgotten what shades I've used but this is pretty much what I remember and I think I use these colors. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is not going to be a talk through, uh, but for the first time, this is going to be a voiceover. So hope it turns out uh, good. And I have used Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop uh, today for the first time. And I swear, I am in love with this highlighter. This is the best highlighter. And um, if you want to learn this look, uh, let's get started. Okay, so very quickly, I'm just going to tell you the things I'm using uh, on my face today because I don't have air conditioning on and I will melt if I do the whole video without the fan. So, and when I open the fan, the video is going to be very distorted. So I will quickly show you the products. I am going to use this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water as my primer. And then I'm going to apply NARS all day luminous foundation i am in the shade light 5 fiji and i am going to apply them with my beauty blender now i'm spritzing smashbox photo finish primer water all over my face and trying to dry it with my hands i'm applying cryolin tv paint stick on my dark spots or discoloration I do this before foundation because I feel on me it helps my discoloration hide better after I apply foundation. My under eye. This will help my under eye fr uh, from not creasing. Now I'm taking my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation, one pump on the back of my hand and then I'm dotting it all around my face, especially the neck, which I cut. Now I'm blending it with my damp beauty blender. I always want to fast forward this part, but I s I'm still learning. I don't know how to do it. Anyways, to uh, blend everything evenly, you need to dab, dab, dab. Don't forget your neck. Now I'm taking my uh, Maybelline concealer, Jovine concealer, and applying it. Uh, my shade is medium. Now I'm blending everything again with my damp beauty blender, but now from the pointy side. Now I'm going to bake my under eye concealer with Laura Mercier translucent. Now I'm going to bake my under eye concealer with a wedge and Laura Mercier translucent powder. This thing really works, guys. Hope you like it too. Try it. Now I'm priming my lids with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Applying it with a Sigma 2 brush all over my lids. Now I'm taking my Makeup Geek Customized C Palette. I'm setting my primer uh, with uh, Beaches and Cream and this will help all your shadows blend well and easily on a MAC 242 blending brush. I'm taking 
taking MAC nylon to highlight the brow bone. I'm taking Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. Now I'm applying it on a Sigma E25 blending brush in the lower crease area. This will blend the colors seamlessly. And to separate these two colors, I've learned a trick to uh, keep the brush upwards in such a way that both colors are visible. Now I'm applying Makeup Geek uh, Mocha in the outer V with a Sigma E70 angled brush because this will give us that very nice um, V, darker V and soft V, not harsh. This will actually blend it itself if you just tilt the brush sideways. This is a great brush, nobody talks about it, but it's very really nice. This look is very daytime appropriate. If you want it to be a nighttime appropriate, you can use a black eyeshadow. Now I'm taking a Sigma E40 brush and blending everything. This has the same peach smoothie on it. Blend, blend, blend. So you have no harsh lines. Now it's time to use the star of the show, which is Makeup Geek's uh, foiled eyeshadow in Magic Act. And I am going to apply it with my ring finger because as Marlena mentioned a couple of times, these are oil based and I personally think brushes don't work well with these shadows and finger does the job. As you can see. Now I'm blending everything again with the same Sigma E70 brush with which we applied uh, Makeup Geek Mocha because I feel that now I'm taking Kat Von D a tattoo felt tip liner in the color Trooper and I'm trying to slay that ring. Every time I cannot but no harm in trying. See, I'm getting there. Not bad. Yes, the other eye now. I'm curling my lashes uh, with a lash curler, of course. This is the worst part. I'm so scared of curling lashes. Then I'm coating my lashes with mascara. I'm using L'Oreal butterfly wings or something like that. Now I'm applying House of Lashes uh, in the style Noir Fairy and I'm applying them with a tweezer and I have used Sweet Titch uh, Lash Glue. Uh, it's very nice, very tacky uh, and it is very inexpensive and it's locally available. Um, best lash glue ever. Try. Now I'm applying uh, eyeshadow on my lower lash line which I didn't initially <laughs> I'm using I'm mixing mocha and cocoa bear and applying it on the lower lash line on a flat shader brush I'm applying magic act um, on the lower lash line half of the lower lash line Now I'm using uh, my e.l.f. powder brush and applying Laura Mercier um, translucent powder all over my face.
Pasharin. Don't forget. Now with a MAC 12E brush, I am using the Kat Von D shade light palette and applying the contouring shade. It's a dual fiber brush. I'm using the black side. It's not going to stay that harsh. I am going to blend it, trust me. I won't apply too much on the temples or forehead because I have a very small forehead. Don't forget your jaw. I'm contouring my nose with Real Techniques uh, foundation brush. It's the flat pointy one. I always use this or my fingers. and then to make it a little short now I'm applying blush I'm using Becca uh, Damselfly and I'm applying it with a Real Techniques uh, Bold Metals Collection blush brush lightly dusting it on the apples of my cheeks Uh, the highlight which is the star of the show and it is Jaclyn Hill's highlighter in Champagne Pop I'm applying it on the highest points of my cheek uh, bridge of the nose Cupid's bow and I'm using Sigma brush I don't remember the name I'll try to find it out I'm applying it in a C shape such a gorgeous highlighter ladies too good I love the glow this highlight is everything by the way now I'm applying a motif cosmetics lip liner in the shade dusty rose and lining my lips with it going to apply my lipstick which is also by Motif Cosmetics and the shade is tender. It's a very nice uh, nude pink shade. I hope you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video and comment and leave your suggestions uh, I would really appreciate that thank you so much for watching bye bye